When you hear the word cancer, I find it's a, it's a very upsetting word. And when it's delivered to you that you've got it, it's quite a shock. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer about 10 years ago. I was uh, about 47 at the time, coming up for 47. My knowledge of prostate cancer itself was zero. Getting diagnosed, you suddenly, like, the game changes. And I think that I found in talking to other people with prostate cancer, and just people in general, they haven't a clue. One in eight men in the UK will get prostate cancer. And I think it's critical that we know who those men are. As men get older, their risk of prostate cancer will go up. I would advise any man over 50 to know what his PSA is. There are certain men that are more at risk of getting prostate cancer than other men, but I think any man with a family history of prostate cancer or breast cancer should know what their PSA is, probably from the age of 45. I was really fortunate in that I had symptoms, and certainly in speaking to other men, I found that quite a few have had little things that have changed that they've done nothing about. We're reluctant to ask for support, but people close to you will want to provide it. Your family, your friends, your partner, will encourage you to feel able to make that initial appointment. Know what your normal is, get yourself checked, and it could save your life. Prostate cancer is a big killer of men, so act on it, get checked. Don't be scared to ask questions, there's plenty of information out there. One of the really critical things about prostate cancer is to get it diagnosed as soon as possible. It's important that every patient feels empowered to have the right conversations with their medical professionals so that they are happy that the treatment they receive is the one that is most right for them. I don't even feel like I've had cancer because I nipped it in the bud. And if that happens to anybody else who's watching this now and their life is saved as a result of just making the effort, bingo, I've rung the bell, it's all we want.